Liveboard Online is a great space for you to create online lessons. It can be sent to all the student devices and you can decide who gets to collaborate on it. And the students see this totally live. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use the Android app. You can get it from the Play Store if you have a Chromebook that runs Android or you're using the Android tablet, or you can even use the iOS app if you have an iPad. Regardless, it's web-based and you can use it from the apps. I'm gonna use, so when I open this up, what I get is I have some options here to start a new session, join existing sessions, create new drawings, or open existing drawings. I'm gonna create a new session, and it's gonna give me the option to invite participants. So I'm going to hit send invite, and this makes it really nice if you have like the Google Classroom app, you could just post this invitation directly in Google Classroom. For now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and hit share with copy to clipboard. And now it's copied. And so if I were to look at this uh, from a student perspective, let's go ahead and take a look here and see what we get. Let me pull up an incognito window, paste in this link, go. Then the students have the option to sign in with their Google account. And the student is now participating in the live board. So they can actually write on this board as well. Let me flip back to my teacher screen. And on the teacher screen, I can see which students have joined. And when they initially come in, it'll allow them to write directly on the board. You can disable all drawing immediately, so that way only students that have the right to write directly on this are able to do so. I'm gonna click on the sharing button again to make it go away. And some things that the teacher has available to them is a basic pen. When they click on the pen, they have some other writing tools and whatnot, choices as far as colors, if you wanna get particular about it. They also have some shape tools. When you click on it twice, you're able to select which shape you want. So if you need a circle, you can get a circle. You're able to move this item around and shift it however you want. You can add text, adjust the size of it, add the color, type messages directly in. Sorry for my typo, I can go back and change that. Change the color of it as you wish. You have an eraser, so that way you can immediately erase items. And anytime you make a mistake, you are able to undo those items. You have different layers that you can set up. You can add an image, whether it's through the camera or Google Photos. So you must have the Google Photos app in order to add images that you have saved. And this is not necessarily available to all students. You have to be 13 or older to utilize Google Photos. So just keep that in mind. But live images can be taken and you could even take pictures straight to a document camera and write directly over the top of them. If you need multiple pages, then what you're able to do is click right here and you're able to add multiple pages, set up several lesson scenarios, and at any time, if you wanna give students the ability to write directly on this board, you can turn on that capability. All the while, while I'm teaching this lesson, students end up seeing exactly what I'm on, but just keep in mind that if I flip pages and I go to another page, that's what the students will see as well. So as soon as I switch to something, they are able to see exactly what it is that is on my screen and they are collaborating directly with me. Now at any time, if I wanted to give the student the capability of writing directly on this, I could just go merely to the groups of people, make sure that it's turned on. Right now the student has the capability to write directly on it. And I could say, hey, fake student, go ahead and give your response to this math problem. So the student would be able to go directly to the board, select a pen, and they would be able to write directly on this board. All the while, this is being displayed for the entire class, and they can all participate in this session. The teacher does have the ability to record the session all by using this camera. And also there's the availability of a chat feature so that if anyone says anything, has their name directly attached to it, there's no denying it, if I go over to the student screen and I choose the chat feature, I can see who the person is. And when I go back to the teacher mode, I can see directly who it is that had added that chat. There is no way to turn off the chat feature. It's always on. There is no way to actually delete what someone has said. So this is a great opportunity beforehand to discuss the need for digital citizenship and making good choices. When you're all done presenting, then all you need to do is hit stop broadcasting. 
and the students will no longer be able to participate in the session. If I flip back to the student screen here, it'll say that the session has ended and there's no ability to be able to participate in the session anymore. Okay, so this is just a quick flyby on LiveBoard. I think this is a great app. It's a great way to present to all student screens and get them involved and choose who gets to participate.